What's up everyone, Ryan here and I'm back with another College Football 25 Road to Glory Career Mode Series video and today we have a week 9 matchup of the 2026 season between Arizona State and the number 2 ranked Texas Tech Red Raiders. This Red Raiders team has dominated, we are sitting undefeated on the year. 8-0 and of course that means we're undefeated in the conference and today will be another Big 12 matchup against an Arizona State team who's had a good year. They're sitting 5-2, they're 3-1 in the conference uh, so this week is against Arizona State. Next week in week 10 we face off against number 22 ranked Arizona. So we have some tough matchups to close out this year. Only four games left in this season including today. Big thank you to all of you all for all the continued support on this series. You all are all legends. If you get some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more. And there is plenty more content to tune into here on the Gamer Ability YouTube channel, including a Kentucky Dynasty mode series on the channel. And we are in season three in that Dynasty mode. And it has been awesome. Check it out if you have not done so. But today, let's start with the top stories here. So Vanderbilt upset Florida 30 to 17 in Vandy that is a huge win there's been so many upsets this year so far it has been awesome and then Alabama takes down Arkansas and, but look at Arkansas's wide receiver eight catches 160 yards and two reception touchdowns but Arkansas did lose that game but wow that is a big time game from their wide receiver and then Kansas State crushed Iowa State 51 to 24 and Kansas State is now ranked number 14 in the nation then there is a huge SEC matchup this week which does definitely have college football playoff contentions because LSU is ranked 11 and they're facing off against Tennessee in Tennessee against the number four ranked volunteers and if LSU loses this matchup they're likely to fall out maybe to like number 13 15 maybe they may drop that much and that might end their chances at the college football playoff so that is a huge matchup for LSU. And here's your look at the updated top 25. And look who's at the top. Illinois, 7-0. Texas Tech, 8-0, number two. I think we deserve to be number one, the reigning national champions. We've had a great year. I mean, I know we've had a lot of turnovers, and maybe that's what's holding us back. You got Georgia, number three. Tennessee, 8-0. Somehow, that Tennessee team is not number one, actually. Actually, you could probably make a better argument that Tennessee should be number one with the schedule that they've had, but they're sitting number four. Clemson, number five. North Carolina, number six. Oregon, seven. Pittsburgh, Penn State, Boston College, LSU, Florida, Cincinnati, Kansas State, Georgia Tech, Arkansas, Texas A&M, Minnesota Golden Gophers are seven and zero. Oh. Rhett Gamer played there, of course, as a freshman. And look at Minnesota. Love to see them having a big time year, sitting 18th. And honestly, I'm surprised they're not a little bit higher than that, being undefeated there in the Big Ten. And then you have Alabama 19, Louisiana 20, North Texas 21, Arizona 22, who we play next week. Fresno State, East Carolina, and the last team to be in the top 25 is Michigan State at 5-2. You take a look at the conference standings. Of course, the Texas Tech team is undefeated, sitting one. But UCF is undefeated in the conference as well. Then you have Arizona State, of course, who we play today. And then Kansas State, Colorado, Iowa State, Utah, Cincinnati, Kansas, and West Virginia making out the top 10 in the Big 12 Conference. And I wanted to show you all the update on the 2026 Heisman watch. So yes, our running back did move off the Heisman list, unfortunately, did not have a huge game in the last game. Uh, so number one right now is the quarterback from Pittsburgh, Eli Hosting, then Jeremiah Smith from Florida. Tyler Brown from Clemson, DJ Lagway from Florida, then Lenora Sellers from Clemson. So those are the five right now in the Heisman watch. Maybe our running back can move back in with a, with a good game, but honestly, our team just throws way too much to have a running back there in the Heisman, right? It was awesome to, that he was there anyways. I mean, he's had a great season, but for that to continue with how much this team throws, it's going to be tough. Now, 
Moving on to the weekly agenda, we only have two energy points to spend today. And we're going to continue to prepare for exams because we want to graduate early. So to graduate early, you got to have a 4.0. We already have a 4.0 right now. Rec Gamer is really focused on studying these last two years. Uh, but he needs to really focusing on studying more films to throw less interceptions. And... That's what we're going to do today. But it is time. Week 9 matchup. Texas Tech Red Raiders at home. Sitting as the number 2 ranked team in the nation. Facing off against Arizona State. You take a look at these two teams by the numbers. Very similar. I mean, we're 87 across the board. A little higher overall than Arizona State. They're 85 overall with an 86 offense and an 85 defense. But it is time. Get your one times ready. We need to make sure we win this game because we lose to an unranked team. Well, we're likely going to move out of probably the top 10. So now for uniforms today, what should we rock? Should we rock the all black? I think we do actually rock the all black for today. That is the one. Let's dive in to this Big 12 conference matchup. Let's do this, everybody. Welcome everyone to Lubbock, Texas and Jones AT&T Stadium, home to the Texas Tech Red Raiders. And this crowd, as always, will be rowdy because they've been gearing up since early this morning. Today, a couple of squads here to square off in a Big 12 showdown. As we'll see, the Arizona State Sun Devils taking on the second-ranked team in the land, the Texas Tech Red Raiders. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with And it is time. It is time to focus on ball security today. Throw for over 300 yards, maybe four touchdown passes, maybe a rushing touchdown, but first of all is not throwing the ball to the other team and not fumbling the football. Let's crush Arizona State. This Red Raiders team has had a great year. We have to play a little bit better on the offensive side, though. We have been recently. Just got to continue to do that. Arizona State scores a field goal. Let's do this. Run it on the first play. Really Actually running it to Willis, to though, instead of Jones. Jones is our superstar. They'll try the run. Our coach is trying to catch him off guard. Did not work. Fight his way out and maybe, maybe pick up a yard. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Trying that to runs wide open. You know, I didn't down, like to be in that zoomed in view. And, and if we were, we would have got the first down, down right? But well, I didn't see defense anybody defense. out. They there we go. Sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get Beautiful. the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about One thing I wish that you could do in Road to Glory. So say you played three years, but then you wanted to continue in Dynasty. I wish you could export your roster from Road to Glory into Dynasty. That would be epic. Because I would love to do the final year as a Dynasty. They make the stop right there. But you can't do that. Still short of the first down. This offense has a second down play. Okay, I'm looking at Hudson here. He's looking to Perfect. Throw. You know, on a clear out play, you it's really Hudson. are not looking at any at any route besides the in, right? Or if it's a clear out to the outside. Really the the vertical routes are all decoys. If it's not there, throw it away or run it. it. Got the positive gain. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. And the Red Raiders have their offense in high gear. Okay, we're back. With the catch, it's Johnson. And he'll step across the sideline. Red Got Gamer's back, everybody. Come on. on that one. Now on second down. Okay, I love playing this video game so much. College Football 25 is a dream game for me. And College Football is back. And I am so... I'm just loving it, having a blast, and I am so happy that this game is here to stay. This game sold so well that College Football 26, you better believe, will be a thing, and this game will just keep being made. Like, there's no way they're going to stop making them. This game sold so well. It's incredible. And now I'm ready for college basketball to return. Anybody else want to lead my Kentucky Wildcats to multiple national championships? That's perfect. Right. That's a perfect right throw. The money to the 
outside. You cannot throw that any better than that. That is unreal. <laughs> I like the slot receiver because he gives his quarterback a good option. Working what? The middle Why are we not running field. it, coach? He's a nice weapon in this offense. They'll go to the air. Pocket starts to collapse. Hit hard as he releases. You do the ball kind of feel bad for a running back, right? Because he could win Heisman really anywhere else. Uh, do you all think we'll see college basketball games return? I mean, with college football selling so well, you think that EA maybe brings back college college basketball after this? Because obviously they NBA Live has not been a thing for years. Be a way for EA to get back. Let's go! But Rhett Raider runs it in. Rhett Raider. <laughs> Rhett Gamer, the Texas Tech Tornado. Rocket Rhett. Rhett Raider. Down in the red zone. This quarterback didn't have anybody open. Didn't panic. He just decided, man, I'm going to go do this myself. I'm going to use my wheels and put up six on the board. He did just that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. But yeah, I would love to see college college basketball return. You know, I it it would make more sense for 2K to bring back college hoops just because obviously they have the NBA 2K games already and they, they have a basketball engine like they could easily. I, I don't want to say easily, but it, it, there'd be so many. The thing about college basketball, there's so many teams you would have to create so many players it in so many different arenas. It would take forever to make a college basketball game for it to return but once you make it and it and it returns and does well then you already have a lot of the assets there right just uh, but yeah i i don't know i it will 2k make college hoops or will ea do it first honestly it depends on which one does it first i want to see college basketball return so bad i, I like i'd be happy either way i just want just want one of them to make it right College, I want basketball, college basketball Texas to return Tech big time. Back in the Red Raider offense on its this could be a to touchdown. Hudson on the that outside. Drive, an absolute aerial assault nope. for the touchdown. Jesse. Have to check down. It was a nice job in play calling too, David. Just giving the quarterback some easy looks and reads so he could go out and execute. Yeah, and Red Gamer exactly was executing to, to perfection on that first drive, really, making some big really time easy. throws. He was hot. The ball was coming out of his hands. The defense better do something different. Our running back has only got the ball twice. That's good enough for a first down. And that's all you want, right? You want that first down. Uh, understand the situation. Understand I got to get north Let's and run south. Again. Get a first down. Get a new set of downs. They'll Coach will call run again. plays. Red has to check down, right? Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Let's go shock H like option. Might be a I'll touchdown. Like running back touches. The false. The so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone. Stay balanced. It's open. It's open. Deep. And they couldn't make the Was that off his hands or was it overthrown? You know the saying, no risk it, no biscuit. If you want big plays on offense, you've got to be able to take shots. Oh, overthrown. That one, but wow. Ahead in the second half, expect this offense to That's keep a big miss. Down. He's wide open. Rhett just barely overthrew it. If they want to convert this one. I'm looking at Valson, maybe the tight end Tillman. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth I mean, down. you can't really blame the receiver for that. Obviously, he's going to take a shot there. That ball needs to be thrown a hair sooner. If that ball is thrown sooner on more of a bullet pass, he's able to catch that, bring it in, and hit the deck before he gets crushed. You know, uh, probably the wide receiver would have hit the deck, got to the ground, and not have taken a hit if we throw that sooner. So you could kind of blame the quarterback a little bit for that, you know. But, I mean, you touch it, you catch it, right? But our defense, the Texas Tech Red Raiders, high-level defense, does it again. In the beginning of this year, our offense was not rolling. Our defense kept us in games, and wow, they're dominant. That's a national champion defense. It's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead. Okay. Uh, they're pressing a lot. I'm looking at Aiken first since he is in the slot, and then Hudson. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings. Yeah, Aiken's wide open. Show them some pictures they haven't seen. I tell you, when Aiken lines up in the slot, it's almost a completion every time. 
Wow, the quarterback knew he had to get that one to his receiver quickly on the in route. Did you see the velocity on that? I saw the blitz, just had to throw it quick. To the tight end. I tell you, I love the play call on first down here. You're just trying to find an easy completion, and the shortest throw on the field for the quarterback is finding your biggest target, and that's the tight end. Nice job. Okay, I'm looking at Hudson, and then after that, I'll take a look at tight end Tillman. He's looking to throw. That's a terrible to throw. And swatted down by the it is a good thing the linebacker decided to deflect that because if he doesn't touch it, that's picked off by the safety. <laughs> that's picked off by a couple players there. What was I doing? He wanted to go with the football. Let's run it. And he missed, but it looked like to me he was forcing it a little bit too much. That was such a bad throw. I don't just, just a bad decision. I don't know what I was thinking. Before he gets the first down. And the Red Raiders have this offense rolling. From the red zone, looking for a receiver. Didn't want to risk it. Nice it there was there, a chance to get that ball in there, but and wide receivers don't come back for the football defense. in this, this game. Big key in the football game. Like, I got to limit the damage from that guy. Because that, that's a QB. That's, that's perfect timing. He can make so many big plays. I got to string him out. I got to make him get to the sideline. But I will say this. I do want to hit him at the end of the run. I don't want to let him out of bounds and let him get free. I know we don't like to run physical. the football, but this is wide open. And Jones is such a good running back. We got to got to get him some more carries. Pushes for the goal. Let's go, Jones. Red Raiders. Do it again. And the running back was not going to be denied on that play. He had a hole, he saw it, he put his foot in the ground, and that was Pater. Yeah, this Red Raiders team is incredible. I, we said this all year. If we get in a rhythm, we're going to dominate because most of those close games we had were because of our offensive struggles, turning over the football, lack of focus, and lack of ball security, right? It's all there was to it. And I said, if we ever get in a rhythm and start playing good offensively, we're going to dominate. And there, here's an example of that. We got to keep it up. But yeah, a great game so far. A rushing touchdown for Rhett. No passing touchdowns yet. But a rushing Texas touchdown Tech for Jones, too. Red Raider offense on its way to the field. Jesse uh, looking to take this it down the could field be a touchdown. Back -to -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of looking deep down the right side. Miscommunication in coverage. Incomplete. They tried to hit him with a big one on first down. You're kidding. You know how much did Rhett just overthrow him by? This was a problem. This was definitely a problem last year for Red as well, overthrowing receivers. He's, he's got a rocket for an arm, right? They call him Rocket Red for a reason. A miscommunication in coverage here because here's what I... I think they were to cover... I, it looks like they're in a cover four. It looked like they were in a coverage shell. They're definitely not men. They were showing men, right? But I believe this is a cover four. But for some reason, maybe it wasn't. It could have been that 48 was in the flats. And it, that's when I saw him cut up like this. He must have been in the flats. Interesting, interesting, interesting play call and coverage shell. That's honestly not a good coverage shell. It's good coverage shell to allow a touchdown. But the problem was Rhett just overthrew it. I mean, you can see this. How close was this? Just a little bit out of reach. That's wide open for a touchdown. You can't miss that throw, right? Unfortunate, Rhett still needs to work on his accuracy a little bit. I'm going to pause the video, take a couple screenshots, and we're going to win this game. That was such a rough overthrow, right? It's all right. That's football sometimes, right? Just don't get that many great opportunities in games to hit these type of big-time plays. When plays like that present themselves and receivers I think it's are fake open, blitz, and it was. Still not open. Got to make that throw. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose okay. a couple. If they can convert here, that type of play can I'm looking really at Tillman and then Volson. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. He'll throw one to his right. And they want to lucky it all he on dropped third it. Down, but Smart play from the receiver down. to go up the field like oh, that. I just should have beamed the pass in there. Lobbing it up was not the right decision. If I just kind of bullet that up and over. It's probably a completion. I gave the defender too much time to close in, but good heads up play by the receiver to get up the field there. Nothing was open. 
And our defense does what they do best, dominating. Three minutes left here in the first half, a 14-3 lead. Our defense Texas is Tech just ready incredible. To send the offense back onto the field. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmaker. A's wide and open. The pressure gets him back at the eight-yard line. You couldn't really be more good open job than that. To the quarterback. That's priority number one, trying to get pressure Just on open receiver. Okay. is a bonus. They had six sacks in their last game. They got to keep building on that number if they want to keep stacking wins. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Coach loves the Ryan Gamer slot corner. Kept him up. This now play is not as good as it used to be. Got to throw it early. Third and long. What a catch! And he surges up to the third. That is all Balson. Rhett just well, tossed that ball up there. Balson had to go out side. there and get it. That's a great nice catch. His routes. He's patient wow. and he's consistent and he's got good hands. You don't see him put a lot of balls on this the could be ground. a touchdown. Nice job there picking up the first down. It's in a mall deep. Quarterback will audible. Comes out throwing on That's a touchdown. Down. Don't overthrow him, Rhett. Well, we didn't overthrow him. Pass on the way. It's picked off. Not much on that return, but I think they'll let him slide after making that pick, and they'll have it at the 20. Look, that interception what is, happening to Rhett's is not the quarterback's fault. It's yes, that interception is the quarterback's the fault. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> putting him in that that position in the first place, right? I'll tell you what. Let's give the defenders some credit here. I think Reese, he just wanted the ball more. He did a great job in coverage, watching the QB, anticipating the receiver on his break. He went up, he plucked it. What did the commentator just say? What? Hold on. Rewind. Did the commentator really just say that? It's not the quarterback's fault. It's the coach's fault for putting Rhett Gamer in the game. Wait, wait, excuse me. Did he really just say Rhett should not be the starting quarterback? A national championship quarterback? Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, now that was a terrible throw. Rhett overthrew earlier. Under through there. And I'm just trying to log that up. That's not that I cannot do a different input there, right? I'm just trying to throw that ball up. We know that Red Gamer does not have the best throw power, but he has better throw power than that. That's a huge mistake. I don't know what happened there. Was there pressure that I missed? It? Like, was Rhett getting hit? What just happened? Did the commentator really did I read that wrong? Or did the did the commentator say that it's the coach's fault for having Rhett Gamer in the game at quarterback? Texas Tech has it back and the Red Raider offense on its way to the Maybe field. I heard that wrong. Boy, they hope this next drive <laughs> I is better have heard that after wrong. After throwing a pick last time, Jesse. Yeah, and the coaches did a good job on the sideline there just Great talking play, to the Jones. young quarterback and making sure he's able to turn the page, calm him down. Talking to, to the young quarterback. He's not that young yeah, now, is he? People do that better than others, but you got to show some trust in him. Maybe get the ground game going, help around him a little bit with this system. On the move, he fires. Makes That's what we do. They Way to get up the field. The Was that Valson? Way to get up the field. Man, if I'm a defense, I gotta find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback and disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. I gotta be maybe a little bit more aggressive. Or do it is a, a good thing different. Rhett put that, that ball on the outside. If if on the doorstep, Rhett throws that one. where the tight end is going to, that's picked off. We played two quarters here. <laughs> time to go to Kevin Connors. But put it on the outside, okay. thankfully. Guys, looks like we've got a terrific atmosphere there today in Lubbock. And it's been said pass? football Wait. is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play. Did I forget to call a timeout? I mean, the low lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. And with that, let's send it back to the fellas at Jones AT&T Stadium. I don't even know what to say. I wasn't even looking at the clock. But to be fair, the coach calls the plays. The coach calls the timeouts. <laughs> That's not on Rec Gamer, right? Nobody saw that. I I don't even know what to say.
you all were probably panicking, yelling into the screen, Rhett, wake up, Rhett, the time! <laughs> Oh my, I'm glad the commentator didn't say anything about that one. Okay, moving on. Okay, What's check. more Ready embarrassing, the interception or the clock the management? Field. I'd say the clock they management. They had this lead to start the third quarter because of the passing game, but didn't get a lot done on the ground. They did, but the quarterback is in a rhythm. I am not known for my great so clock management strong. skills. Wanna, I've gotten a lot better in the Kentucky dynasty, but... I see him playing on time, and is always delivering the football. With that I, I mean, I don't Perfect know. Throw. I don't give him the football. Here, it's Boston the is I amazing. Lead. He's the guy that I can trust. This offense is built around him, so I expect more of the same here in the Second the gift to the back. Hey, we threw for 181 yards. We we had good production. One interception that shouldn't have happened on an open receiver. You want those big plays. You want those splash plays. But sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. Good check down. If you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it, and now it's just going to be a passing game. I'm looking at Volson and then the Hudson. Third and short from the 43. I wonder if they already Wide know open. they'll go for it. Almost threw that off the defensive and lineman. And knocked down immediately, but not before. That would have been terrible. Change. The Red Raiders are moving quickly down the field. 14-3 ball game. Eight minutes left in the third. Going up top on first down. Tight ends wide open. Makes the grab on the left. I'm doing a pretty good and job reading defenses today. Even the interception was not a bad job reading play. a defense. Yeah, and tight ends aren't just line up and block guys. Clock and management? Guys we don't talk about clock management. Field. And nowadays, you can start to feature him more and more in the passing game. Look at Jones! That's what he does. He showed it all there. A little elusiveness, a little power, and he's got the first down. And the Red Raiders come to the line with a fresh I'm looking at downs. first Aiken. If it's not open, Valson. Trying to cap this drive or with the pass. Hudson. Grabbed over the middle. It's Hudson. He's brought Look at me going to my third read, everybody. Down. It'll be second down, and remember, they can pick up a first without scoring. Man, it's so important when you play QB. I got to know when to put some air on it, and I got to know when to rocket that thing in there. He was Working wide the open. Field, I just Rhett to missed the throw. He took a shot. Did you all see him wide open there to the right, that right in front of us? Just took me a little bit to see it, unfortunately. It free for a fumble. They're going to go to the air on third and short. Pressure all over the Did you all see just how open X was? Yeah, that defense was not fooled at all. In the back of the end zone. Hopefully you all missed that. He was open. That's a field goal. A, a frustrating field goal. Don't get me wrong. But honestly, it's been the offense this year. Like moving the ball. Either turning it over in the red zone or just not scoring, getting a field goal. And Texas Tech has it back in the Red Raider offense. We got this. Way to the okay, field. they're pressing like that crazy last today. Was along with Jesse. They'd like this time it's great to coverage, pay it off though. With a touchdown instead of a field goal. No doubt great coverage. Just had to throw it to the wide open tight end. Drive. Need to get a tutty up on the board here to extend that lead. Man, yeah, I think you definitely want a touchdown. But if you put another long drive together, get points, multiple possessions in a row. That's start. how you make a play on the football. He dropped it. That is how you make a play on the football, though. He went up there for it, but couldn't hold on to it. Dislodging the football out at the same time as he's going to catch it, and the big tight end couldn't hold on to it. I tell you, I miss Miller from last year. Miller was automatic catching the football. Tillman has been good, don't get me wrong, but Miller was automatic. They're going to throw it again. That's a touchdown to the running back. Oh, I didn't see the safety. The and how about that DB getting a hand in there and forcing Not the that I didn't pass. see the safety. I forgot to look over at the safety. The pass. <laughs> Locating the football. No PI. Able to swat it away. Pass okay. incomplete. Moving on. He's looking for an open man on second down. Way to stop That's there. It's an option it's route. Hudson. Good decision. Make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that Ryan Gamer down. slot corner. Look, coach has it on there right twice now, almost he's every time. Nice job in he's Boston, I'm doing a short out. An Probably going to hit the tight end. Where he wants to go with the football. Nope. That's Wide open, Boston. Out of his hand so quickly. That's why he Beautiful. seems like he's in a great rhythm. Right now. He steps out of bounds, flood. I like it. For a first down. New set of downs after that completion. 
play action on first down. Getting some heat. Just Way to throw it, open throw it away in, in the direction of a receiver, down. but I couldn't make the it was risky. There's a couple time. receivers open, or at least again. one, but a little risky. He's looking for a man on second down. Makes the grab. It's Johnson. Johnson hey, took a shot the there. On the same I mean, nice a job. big Seen time shot. Zone. Understanding the drag route concept. Easy pitch, easy catch. Wait, this is a Coming wide open line, run. Looking for that first down on third and short from the 29. They'll try to run for it. Yeah. And the Red beautiful. Raiders are stopped, but not Good audible. getting the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Run it again. They're going to ride this That is a back. great block. Way to get Keep to the second level, defense, number 54. Play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more. The great thing the at quarterback, you hand off the football, you can get some coffee, pass. you know. Trying to get the corner. Nowhere to go and the ball's loose. Defense coming up with a huge fumble recovery. And he's brought down and this defense gets the ball back for its own. As a defender, you love the big hits. And you know what the cherry on the Sunday is? When you get the big hit and force the fumble. That's not a fumble. His entire body was on the ground before the ball. That's ground calls the fumble. You can't you can't challenge it. In Road to Glory, once it goes off it, there's like it doesn't challenge. In Road to Glory, there's no challenging. And the coach never challenges. There's it never happens. His whole body was on the ground before that ball came out. <laughs> you have to be kidding me. Can we go back and watch that? Is that in stats? Where did, we have to go to highlights, right? That would be an instant replay. So we'll have to wait till after this play. I am shocked right now. Texas Tech ready to send the offense. There's no way that was field. actually a fumble. The ball that wasn't even close to being out. Plus territory just ruined that last drive, David. Yeah, and those are frustrating when you got the offense moving oh, a little no way, bit. That thing on the deck, Jesse, but move on, reload. Everybody was nervous on that one. There's the highlights. Okay. Hopefully it is a highlight, right? Please be a highlight. What in the world happened on that one? Where is the fumble? Where is the fumble? It would have been... Was it fourth quarter? No, it wasn't. Was it third quarter? Fumble recover. There it is. Okay. Was this a fumble? We're about to find out. No, no. no. See, they have to fix that. They have to fix that. In Road to Glory, how many times has this happened to us in this series? Probably three or four times. It, it has to trigger a challenge by the coach or allow you to pause it or call a challenge in that, you know, when it goes to that other screen there? Where you advance time, there should be a challenge button right there. There's that's not a fumble at all. Jones should not get credit to fumble. His whole look, his knee is down, his his elbows down. That is not a fumble. That's ground calls the fumble. His elbow down and knee his elbows down, his knee is down, and shin, and butt. His butt is down too before he fumbles the football. And he gets credit with the fumble there. They have to fix that. It happens. It's a big problem with Road to Glory. And that is so frustrating. Fundamental football, right? I'm they shocked. Practice it all week. Five points of pressure. Every ball carrier has Let's to throw a touchdown pass out of a anger. Job moving forward. On second down, he'll Come fly. on, Rocket Rhett. Lofts one high and deep. And here's the pick. And oh, did they need that right now. And they capitalize not only I'm just going to sink down in my chair and just hang out. To give the offense tremendous field position. Look, big time playmakers, big, big plays and big games. And that guy needed to make that interception at this critical juncture of the game. There's still time for them to go out and win it. Could that be the play that sparks this team? What happened to Rec Gamer's arm? He's got no throw power. What is happening out there? I mean, that's that should have never happened. What do you call that? That is a classic frustration throw. What did I say? I just want to throw a touchdown. 
That, that's not what I had in mind there, Rhett. That's not what I meant. Well, uh, okay. I saw this game going a bit differently. Uh, one rushing touchdown, no passing touchdowns, 263 yards, but huge mistakes. Both underthrown footballs on deep throws. I mean, to be fair, that one was not open. <laughs> like, yes, I threw that into double coverage, but honestly, a good throw is probably going to be caught. Yeah. On to the next one. That's just a frustration play. You can't do that. And look, they get our defense does what they do best. Holding Arizona State to only a field go. Wow. Our defense Texas is phenomenal. Tech has it back and the Red Raider offense on its way to the field. Have to give Jerry a lot Looking of credit. I know he's the quarterback coach, but he helps out a lot in the defense as the assistant the defensive coordinator. And you got you love to see it. Because you, you gotta respect six. Jerry. He does a lot for this team. And He's although we, although we need a new quarterback He's coach, right <laughs> on they make the yeah. stop at this passing game. I think we need a new quarterback coach. The with the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Okay, shake it off. He wants to throw. It's, on it's so interesting. We've had moments of greatness this game and this year, but also many moments of just terrible, terrible plays. The Red Raiders come to the line with a new set of downs. The give to the left side. Goes back to ball security. Look at Jones running him over. What a run. That's what Jones does. He's a hard runner. That's beautiful. They'll get it to the 48. No need to measure. It's a first down. Here's this offense. I tell you, talking about down. college basketball earlier, it's like all I could think about right now. College basketball coming back, and probably the only games I would play is college football and college basketball, right? It's like a dream. Imagine two ongoing dynasties, Kentucky basketball and Kentucky football. You might as well bring back college baseball as well. Do you all remember Indy, NCAA baseball? That was such a good game. I want all college sports game, to return. I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the Look football at Aiken. Game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football and the defense and everybody in the That might be a touchdown run. Oh. Can Settle down, run Rhett. the ball down their throats <laughs> and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. With a first down, they'll snap You like how our coach down. calls only throwing plays when there's four minutes left in the game. We're up 17-6. Looking to move it through the air. For a quarterback who's thrown two interceptions. Pass caused by the big hit on first to be down, fair, down those. After the misconnection, it's second well, down. no, there's nothing. I got nothing. Those were not good plays. He's looking to throw. Perfect route. That is perfection. And chunk plays are the name Run it. of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes a stop. It's first down from the 11. And this is a perfect situation. This is a situation okay. if you Let's go bench game, pivot for a touchdown. I got the football. I got the lead on their side of the field. Nice Let's run out the clock a bit. Down. I'm going to get a sip of coffee. Exact script. Cheers. Do it again. Run the football. Run the clock. Let that thing tick down. And if we Come add on. points, we add points. On second down, wants to throw it. Got a good throw. There, it's incomplete. Well, I love the coverage on defense. In the red zone, everyone's got their eyes on the quarterback, and they're flying to the football, and you saw that there on the incompletion. Well, the quarterback can make a big play when he starts moving Rocket around. Rhett getting it done on the ground. Come on. And they take it in for six more points. That score might be the one to put them over the top and run this winning Defense has won this game. Like, it's as simple as that. Squad, man? Looking good. Don't get me wrong. We scored 23 points. But our defense is the reason that this is not us trying to tie the game and us going up 23-6, to six, right? Our defense does what they've done all year. Despite offensive ball security problems, our defense has delivered every single game. So here we are. Defense shows up again. About to go 9-0. Because of that elite level Red Raiders defense. Now, Red Gamers ran the ball twice for a touchdown. The two interceptions, one of them was just a terrible throw. The other one was a terrible decision and a terrible throw. 
But 306 yards passing, it's interesting because I feel like Rhett Gamer overall has had one of his best games of the year in making decisions, right? Good short throws, finding the open receiver, not doing anything crazy besides those two plays. But all it takes is two plays, two big mistakes to lose football games. Yeah, we're winning because of our defense, but this game could have went very differently if our Red Raiders defense did not show up. So thank you to the defense. Uh, Rhett Gamer is going to have to take them all to a steak dinner tonight. Rhett Gamer is going to have to buy everybody a steak dinner for this entire team. 24-13 should be game. If you like old they got three timeouts, but... Football, that last touchdown drive was for you, Jesse. That was impressive, man. Great blocking up front and tough physical running by these ball carriers. What, what, what team should Rhett Gamer go to next like, year? Are they gonna get gotta be Kentucky, right? Just try to stop the run. I gotta do something to break the rhythm of that running game. Defense Gotta be Kentucky, right? Quickly trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. A third and long coming up here. Off the play fake. Fires to the wideout. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it's it It's a good thing Rhett has poor accuracy because if that ball was thrown with good accuracy, that would have been picked off. If it was thrown where it needed to be for a completion to the wide receiver, it would have been picked off. It's a good thing Rhett's accuracy is not great today. And he threw that to where nobody could catch it. That's game. Let's just nil it. Let's just nil it. Hey. I should not have called a pass play Running there, the right? But, seems to be a you know, I was still in it. Here as they are ready to snap it hey, at the end of the day, Red Raiders are still undefeated. 9-0. Let's go, Red Raiders. Run, they come out and they get the win. And that's all that matters. It's not always pretty. Um, you don't always do everything you want to do or check all the boxes. But at the end of the game, Jesse, you want that W. No doubt about it. They made the plays they needed to make in order to get this win. I thought the quarterback showed tremendous poise, good leadership throughout the course of the game. Defense made stops when they had to make them. So, right, there were some things that are going to need to clean up moving forward, but ultimately they were the better team today. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football. You know, we have to give it to Rhett Gamer. He played a good game at the quarterback position. You get rid of those couple mistakes. That's no interceptions and two rushing touchdowns and over 300 yards. So just have to clean up some of those mistakes. Should not have made that frustrated throw after that fumble. I was frustrated after that challenge, after that lack of a challenge. And yeah, 24-13, uh, that's what matters at the end of the day. This Texas Tech Red Raiders team moves to 9-0, 7-0 in the conference. Arizona drops to 5-3. Three and two in the conference uh, but yeah arizona state it, if they would have scored off those turnovers if our defense wasn't dominating it would have been a really close game and we would have had to probably score on that last drive but our defense showed up and dominated they did what they do best and that is just holding other teams to nothing 16 rushes holding them to 24 yards. Are you kidding me? Yeah, they threw for 217, but that is incredible. Our run defense has to be the best in college football. They're unreal. Now, Rhett Gamer had two rushing touchdowns, which was nice. Jones had a rushing touchdown. That's 101 rushing yards for the Red Raiders, 306 passing yards. We did lose that fumble, but no, that should not have been a fumble. We all saw it. You all saw the evidence. And now as far as the interceptions, uh, that's on me. Just uh, one, of, one of them was on Rhett. The other one was on me. A frustration throw. I should have never thrown it. And Rhett Gamer's, Rhett Gamer's accuracy today on deep throws was really bad. And his arm strength. It looked like Rhett just forgot how to throw the football. What happened to Rocket Rhett? <laughs> we had the ball 28 minutes though. They had the ball 15 because our defense just kept dominating. Wow. So, Rocket Rat struggled. A quarterback rating of 113. Not good in college football. A 27 for 43. We threw the ball 43 times. I love this team. 306 yards, no touchdowns, two interceptions. We, we just have to be a little bit smarter out there, right? With some of those big plays, it's usually those big plays that cost me, right? I don't make those decisions in the Dynasty mode. If you watch the Dynasty mode on the channel... I don't make those decisions. I guess when I'm controlling everybody, I'm a little more likely not to make those mistakes. But 
I don't know, hear it with Rhett Gamer, I just want to throw it up there for some reason. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, it's 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 because I'm playing Big 12 defenses compared to what I'm used to in the Kentucky Dynasty with those SEC defenses. Uh, but yeah, I I need to put more respect on these Big 12 secondaries because they are dominating against Red Gamer this year. I need to give them respect because they've earned it. How many interceptions have we thrown? Yeah, don't count. Let's not worry about it. I'm going to pause the video, take a couple screenshots, and we'll take a look at the road ahead. This team is just getting the job done. You know, whatever it needs to, whatever this team needs, the defense does, right? Like, our offense has turned over the ball so many times. It has to be frustrating to be on that Texas Tech Red Raiders defense. But at the end of the day, they come in clutch every single time. And... It's not that our offense is, is playing terrible. It's just been some big mistakes, right? Our offense had a good game, a really good game that game, you know, and we've been playing much better recently. And I think we're, I think we're turning the corner, you know, just limit, eliminate some of those mistakes, focus up a little bit more, don't make frustrated throws and maybe try not to throw deep because here's the thing. Have we had any success this year with our receivers throwing deep? Maybe two or three times, right? And that's it. A lot of interceptions have been thrown the deep ball. I just do not think we have the speed at wide receiver this year to do that. So let's advance the week and see what happens here. Do we stay number two or do we move to number one? We'll find out. I mean, it wasn't a huge win. I mean, a 10-point victory, right? 11-point victory is pretty good. That might be enough to move us to number one. But let's see. Come on. Number two still. Okay, Arizona is now up to number 15 gonna be a tough matchup they must have a tough schedule because they're five and three the same record as arizona state and they're two and three in the conference but somehow they're sitting with a 15 ranking so they must have had a huge win or something because it just does not make sense let's just get a glimpse of the top 25 tennessee hey tennessee deserves it tennessee deserves that number one spot i said this at the beginning and tennessee they should have been higher, and I thought they should have been number one anyways. I, I Listen, they deserve it. They deserve to be number one over us. Their schedule is so much tougher, and they took down LSU. That means LSU, they fell to only 12. I thought they were going to drop more. So LSU still hangs on, and they are still in college football playoff contention, actually. They probably have a tough, tough end of the schedule, right? But yeah, Tennessee moves to the number one team in the nation. Congrats to the volunteers there. But hey... We're coming after you, Tennessee. You better watch out. Now, I've not taken a look at the college football playoff projections yet this year. So we will do that for the first time right now. So you all can get a glimpse. I'll do it at the beginning of the next, next episode for those that missed this part of the video. But here we go. If the season ended today, this is what the college football playoff bracket would look like here for 2026. East Carolina versus Clemson. Florida versus Georgia, Arkansas versus Oregon, Kansas State versus Pittsburgh. First number one seed, first round bye is Tennessee. Number two seed, the Texas Tech Red Raiders with the first round bye. North Carolina, number three, and then Illinois, number four. So both North Carolina and Illinois has taken a loss on the year. Illinois took their first loss in this week. And I believe North Carolina just took their first loss this week because they were 7-0. So a couple losses to uh, undefeated teams this year. Uh, but yeah, Tennessee is dominating. And imagine if we have to face off against that Tennessee team in the college football playoffs. If it plays out the way it is now, we wouldn't have to play against them until the national championship game. And that would be for the best, right? I also don't want to have to play against Georgia or Alabama. And it's looking like we won't have to play against Georgia or Alabama with the way the the college football playoff bracket is looking after the first nine weeks. Now, a lot can happen. There's three games left. We have to win out, right? Here, with the end of our schedule, besides Arizona, the rest of the teams we face are unranked. If we lose to one of those unranked teams, especially if we lose by a lot, we are going to really fall off the rankings. Will we still make the conference championship? Probably, unless we lose out. But we got to make sure we win. That is the pressure you have. You know, as a team here in the Big 12, Texas Tech Red Raiders, we we realize that with our schedule, our strength of schedule is not very big. So we have to basically have that undefeated or maybe even one loss season to get that great ranking. 
one loss is really gonna affect it. Two losses, we're out. But big thank you to you all for watching this video to the end. If you got some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more. There is plenty more career mode content you can tune into here on the Gamer Builder YouTube channel. Be sure you check out the Kentucky Dynasty series. It is one of my favorites on the channel. Uh, but I link most of the career modes in the video description below. That's the best place to find more or you can find them on the channel page. I will see you all in the next video. As always, have a fantastic day, everybody.